Today I would like to show you how to create an ODBC data source under Windows to an SAP HANA cloud database, for example, Data Warehouse Cloud. To create an ODBC data source within the ODBC environment of Windows, we need to do some further steps to get this done. At first, at first we need to or you need to be sure that within the data warehouse cloud under configuration with under IP LO list your IP is allowed to access the data warehouse cloud as a source. Normally this is done and provided by your IT department or you can do it by your own under this specific section here. I did it already for my IP so I can access the data warehouse cloud. And an additional setting is needed. We need a database user to access a specific space under the data warehouse cloud. For that, you can go to space management, select the space where you would like to create the database user. Under the database section here, you can click on the top or you can scroll down to the section database user where you can create a database user. Let's name it test. We need to enable SQL. Yes, of course, I would like to, uh, could be that I would like to uh, do some grant settings here. And also for that user, it should be able, or the user should be able to access the HDI containers, which are database containers on the HANA database. If I click create, then the user is created, but with a small icon, I cannot see any password because I need to deploy the space first. Here we see the deployment of test is ready. So we can get now all information out of this dialog. But at first, let's open the ODBC data sources where we do not see actually any connection to the data warehouse cloud. By clicking add, here we see the connection possibility regarding HANA database, which we can select. After selection, we can give it a name. For example, uh, con to DWC. I copy the, or I press here, connection to DWC, SAP WC. And then we need to add the host. Where to get the host? The host can be found if you click on this small icon within the data warehouse cloud where you created the database user already. By clicking it, you can copy out the URL out of this section, paste it here, and now everything should be okay. But what we sh should also do is test the connection. To test the connection, we click on the button, and then we can enter here the user which we created. This is the user here. And the password can be get out of this section here by clicking this request new password. We can copy out this password, paste it here and click OK. OK, something went wrong. Could be that we need to check what happened here. The problem could be that we copy out here this only the dots without showing the password. Here we see the password which is created for this user and now we try it with this password. Now I paste in the new password and let's check if the connection will work. Okay, now we see that the connection is successful and we click on can click on OK. And here we see now our connection which is already established where we can test again but 
we do not want to test again, it's already established here. And from now on, we can use this ODBC connection within the tools which are used by this window instance where we install installed the ODBC driver and established this connection. Thank you.